So it's fair enough that he's and goes to heaven and God goes to heaven. And God is showing him around heaven and he's looking around heaven and he goes to the first room and in the first room God says, Have a look in you, you've been a good boy, have a look at this. So he goes in the first room and there's this pool party going on and band is playing and playing the trumpets and everybody's drinking the cocktails and he said, Can I come in this room? He said, Oh, you've been a good boy. Enjoy your afterlife. And so he, God takes him to the second room now, and uh, in the second room there's a big casino and everybody's gambling and they all drink in every party and there's all dancing on the stage, everybody's on a wheel of a time. And uh, he says, can I come in here? Oh, you've been a good boy, you've been a good boy, you wouldn't show you after me. So he comes to another door now and uh, he says to God, what's in here? And God says, I'm glad you asked for that because this is a very, very interesting room. And he opened the door, and in the room was a long, long corridor stretching to infinity with all clocks on the wall. Clocks and clocks and loads of different clocks stretching to infinity as far as I could see. And he said to God, he said, what's this room? He said, well, God said, there's a clock for every person on the earth here. If you look under the clock, there's a name and a date of birth. And there's a clock for every single person on the earth here. And every time the person on the earth cheats on their partner or touches themselves in an inappropriate way, which we all know what we're talking about, the clock takes one tick. So I know by the time on the clock who's been a good boy and who's been a naughty boy. And I, this fella looked up at it and he said, well, I can't see Jamie Freeman's here anywhere. And God said, no, but we use that in the kitchen as a fucking fan. <laughs> <laughs>